which is uh, among the most important pests of household and commercial establishment. They are well known to transmit diseases, causing allergic reactions in many people. In this video, I'm going to focus on the common cockroaches and all to get rid of them. There are more than 4,500 types of cockroaches in the world. They all belong to the class of insects, specifically Blathodae. The cockroaches are characterized by an oval and outline, but they usually flat need head entirely concealed beneath ponodal shield, leathery rings, long antenna, and thread-like long legs, and abdominal surcy usually long. There are three families of cockroaches, Blatelidae, Blaberidae, and Blatidae. For, for the Blatelidae, the most common is German cockroach. The male is pale brown and has two dark streaks on ponodum. Therefore, the female is darker variation than the male and carries a OTK. The male and female of German cockroaches have rings. The family of Blaberidae, characterized by cockroaches with dull, yellowish ponodum and light marks. The body is dark and the rings are brownish, including yellowish areas. However, the Cuban cockroach is different in this group in terms of color, but the Cuban roach is almost entirely translucent and pale green. For the latest family, Blatidae, the American cockroach is the most common. The male is shiny and has darker brown wings. The head region is pale with two dark blotches. Therefore, the female has short wings and carries OTK. Cockroaches can fly everywhere in terms of food preferences and living habitats. We can classify them ecologically in three classes, domestic, pro-domestic, and fuel. The cockroaches that live their entire life inside home or buildings considered as domestic cockroach. The German cockroach is a prime example. German cockroach typically found in kitchens, bathrooms, and bedrooms, and also can survive outdoors during the warm month. The parent domestic cockroaches live both inside and outside or that move in only occasionally. The American cockroach generally found outdoors but can come inside through cracks or holes and exteriors walls and through sewers system via drains and can also found in basement and sewers. The Australian cockroach lives outdoor and typically found in commercial buildings which have areas of high temperature or humidity. You can also find the Australian cockroach in greenhouses often infested. The smoky brown cockroach come in to live outdoors but come inside at night via cracks and crevices, light being an attractive for them. Typically, you can find them in attics, around eaves, and gutters. The brown cockroaches also are habitually found in the same area as American cockroaches, such as basement, grocery stores, and sewers. The Asian cockroach typically found outdoors in shed areas with thick grass or abundant litter. The lights become inattractive for them to come inside and they are strong flyers. The feral cockroaches are not required the presence of humans to survive and can live independent the presence of humans. For the Florida woods cockroach, they are living outdoor and typically found on the bark of dead trees, on the palmetto leaves, stumps, and loose litter. Cuban cockroach lives outdoor and typically found in areas of low vegetation and on the rotting trunks of palm and coconut trees. 
The association with humans and cockroaches beget a lot of problems. When you leave the food on the table or in the fridge, the roaches are able to contaminate that food with excrement because they feed on that food and on human feces and can transmit diseases such as allergic, asthma, salmonellosis, typhoid fever, cholera, dermatitis, swelling eyelids, and bright mouth. To determine if there are cockroaches somewhere, it is very easy. Someone has to use a sticky trap, for example. The sticky trap can be used to monitoring because it can attract the roaches by that of its substances chemical, for example, pheromones. How to set up a sticky trap? It's very easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. <music> How to get rid of cockroaches? You can use two products, Gentrol and Advion Cockroach. The Gentrol is an insect growth regulator that can interrupt the reproductive life cycle of cockroaches and can control a lot of insects. For the Advion Cockroach, you can use it indoors and outdoors and can attract the roaches and also can target the most species of roaches. An employee at Orkin and Tony Thomas is going to show you how to use Gentrol and Hadvian cockroach. It's this uh, aerosol product, Gentrol. Um, we use this in restaurants sometimes and what you want to do is if you have a situation where there may be an issue, uh, you already baited it and you want to try something different, you use this as a crack and crevice treatment. So any kind of crack or crevice where roaches may crawl or hide, you put this foam product in there, and uh, it'll kill them also. So uh, what I like to do a lot of times, if you're in places with a tile and the baseboard, sometimes the tile will separate, and you can find a crack or crevice to put it there. Roaches like to crawl in cracks and crevices like that. Uh, sometimes situations like this around the door frame, so we can put some up in there. And these are just those hidden areas where roaches will hide that you may not think of. Uh, you, also, you just want to treat those areas as best you can. You want to always keep the straw tip so you can get up in the cracks and crevices. Instead of just spraying on the door frame where an employee might touch it or making a mess, you want to have these straw tips to get up in the cracks and crevices that you're trying to treat. Along with treatment, you always want to talk to your tenant or your restaurant owners or employees or uh, your managers on duty about any kind of conducive condition that may go against what you're doing. So by me treating this, if I notice a lot of water on the floor or some food sources, the Avion, what happens is uh, the roaches eat on this bait. They'll carry it back to their colonies. So if there's any hiding in a place that we can't find or if we had roaches in this wall, 
they would eat this and carry it back to the family in the wall. So once they eat it, the one that eat it is gonna die, the one they feed it to will die, the ones that come in and eat the dead roaches will die. Because anytime there's a water source, uh, roaches need water and food to survive. So anywhere there's a water source, you wanna put some bait out there. Mm -hmm.